My eyes widened slightly as I took in his domineering appearance, easily towering a good foot or more over my sister. He was buff, too, and I half expected his clothes to rip off of him like some kind of movie if he even flexed. His beard was nice and trimmed, and his curly black hair was slicked back, as if he had somehow tried to look decent, but the look just didn't suit him if you asked me. But when I looked into his blue eyes, I knew instantly that he didn't give a damn if I liked him or not. And that is how you piss me off. Charlotte, I called out to her as I went forward, holding my arms out to hug her. It's so good to see you. Charlotte rushed forward, hugging me tight as I wrapped my arms around her. As I hugged my sister, I couldn't help but glare at the man who simply raised an eyebrow at me, and I really wished I could punch that smirk off his face. But when I heard a loud woof, my blood ran cold when I saw a giant dog rushing out of the house. If there was anything in this world that I was afraid of, it happened to be dogs. Ah! I screamed, releasing Charlotte as I took a step back, preparing to bolt. As the dog was about to pounce, the man grabbed the dog by its collar and told it to heal. My heart was pounding irrationally in my chest, but I couldn't take my eyes off the dog who could easily tear a good chunk out of me if it wished to. I know I shouldn't be afraid of dogs, but when I was young I was attacked by this big dog and had to get a bunch of stitches. The idea of a big dog being near me could almost put me into a full-on panic attack. It isn't so bad as I've gotten older, but that doesn't mean I want to associate myself with a giant animal. Sorry, Taylor. Alpha must have gotten loose, Charlotte apologized as she gently pets Alpha on its head. It's whatever, just keep it away from me, I muttered, keeping my distance. I didn't realize you had a dog. Alpha is Laz's, Charlotte explained, officially introducing me to the man she decided to be with. Alpha may look big and scary, but he's nothing to be afraid of. Alpha's a good boy and doesn't attack at all. He would more than likely lick you to death. Yeah, I don't care. Keep it away. Are you afraid of dogs? Laz asked, his voice deep and rumbly that it almost seemed impossible. Yeah, I admitted praying that would get him to keep his dog as far away from me as possible. But that's not what I'm concerned about right now. Charlotte, you have a lot of explaining to do right now about this whole situation. Charlotte hesitated, and for the first time in my life, I saw her look towards Laz for an answer. My sister, who has always been independent and made her own choices, was turning to some guy to decide how to answer me. I clenched my fists, gritting my teeth as I debated on how I was going to deal with this situation. It looks to me that this Laz guy is a bit of a control freak, and it's obvious that I'm going to have to convince Charlotte her best bet is to just break up with him and come home with me. If he has manipulated her, though, that's going to be a lot easier said than done. Let's wait till Ridian gets here, Laz replied wrapping his arm around Charlotte's shoulder. I know he's going to have a lot of questions as well since I haven't seen him in so long. My eyebrows furrowed in confusion. Who's Ridian? His best friend, Charlotte clarified, cuddling into Laz's embrace. They haven't seen each other in a few years now, as Ridian went overseas to serve in the army. I wanted to question them more, ask why this guy decided now would be the best time to come here. But the look Laz was giving me, it was like he was telling me not to push it, and that I would regret it if I did. I huffed in annoyance, watching them head into the cottage with that beast right behind him. It'll be okay, Taylor, I thought to myself. I only have to put up with this long enough to get Charlotte out. Laz, you're going to regret the day you messed with my sister. <laughs>